Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We are Sunday, July 7th, 2024. And I'm here to do a collective read for you. As you know, it's a timeless read. I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders, because it's all energy anyway. So, if this is your reading, you're going to know from the description of the characters as well as the storyline. So take what applies, toss the rest, don't try to make things fit if it doesn't. I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head, no other reason. So if you have to switch the roles and or the genders throughout the read, go right ahead. That is not a problem. Just remember, it is a general reading. Not every read is going to be for you. There are thousands of people here with thousands of different energies. So please use your higher wisdom and, wisdom and discernment, okay? Not every read is going to be for you. Keep that in the back of your mind. I'll bring out this, uh, the tarot cards. I'll give you a description of the cards as well as what I'm picking up intuitively. You know your story best. I'll give you all the descriptions, someone and or none. And then we bring it together at the end. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thank you for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I love you. Thank you for all your love and support. You guys are wonderful. Let's see what they want to talk about now. What is the message at this hour? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of white light. What is the message, please? Crown chakra. Wow. Seven. Your crown chakra. You have a direct connection with source, okay? You get downloads and whatnot. Maybe you don't even realize it. I, I, I know for years I never realized it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then again, I sometimes... A lot of times I didn't listen to my own intuition. I doubted what I was thinking. And yeah, what an error until I learned to listen. This is beautiful. Crown Chakra 7. This is moving forward, leaving things behind. This is universally driven. Having um, the initiative, taking control of a situation. It's victory moving forward. Um, overcoming. It's beautiful. Bottom of the deck is choose wisely in reverse. So somebody didn't choose wisely or you did. Take it for wherever it is. Seven in reverse. Seven, seven. Something's coming to a halt here. Something's not going anywhere. Someone doesn't want to take uh, accountability. They're trying to stop you. Trying to block your crown chakra. It's not going to work. Maybe they've been stopped. Take it for wherever it is. Could be a car accident. Could be losing. Um, I, I shuffle too. This came out in the first read. Spiritual, there's something to do with a uh, spiritual union, a partnership, love, family, friend. Somebody's hoping here. This is wish fulfillment. 17 is a star. Your prayers have been answered here. I'm picking up somebody who doesn't want you to have options. somebody wants to be with you or maybe you were with somebody that had too many options and now you're finding somebody that's more uh, more to your liking on your frequency so yeah no suffering in silence going within doing that soul work you could, you could have been alone for a long time you don't have to be but going within shining a light on things maybe if you keep repeating the same patterns in relationships um yeah, you have to go within and find out why. Why Why is this happening? Why do I keep attracting the same type of people? Yeah, light in reverse. Somebody's not happy. They're finding out that maybe you're going towards a, um, a soulmate connection. And somebody's not happy about it, okay? It's, it could be somebody that's always hiding something. 19, the sun in reverse. Um, not happy. If you keep attracting the same type of people and you're not never happy... You got to go within and do that work. Yeah. Boss up. Take back your power. So this could be a divine uh, masculine that's coming into your situation. You could be this divine masculine. Could be a boss, a, a husband, a father, and or some sort of leader here. Taking back your power. Congratulations. 4-4. Four, four, the angels are helping you. Rest and rejuvenate. You're going within. So something. Now, maybe you've been resting. Maybe you've been alone for a while. Doing that soul work, shadow work. And now things are starting to pick up here. Accelerated motion, eight of wands. Uh, in, in A long time ago, the eight of wands was the rods of love. It's communication coming through. Okay? Somebody maybe in the past was trying to stop somebody from communicating with you. They can no longer stop this, okay? Congratulations. It could be an ex that's trying to get in the way and or a family member or a friend that's jealous. Take it for whatever it is. It could be this new person's ex. Who knows? Okay, we'll see which way it goes. Does that make sense? <laughs> so, I don't know. Your crown chakra is lit. Maybe both of you are, are mirroring one another. Maybe you both have spiritual gifts. If it's a divine uh, masculine for sure. If 
your divine feminine or masculine. Yeah, you do have spiritual gifts. You do have a direct connection with source. You have that capacity. Sometimes we don't realize we do, right? We have to go within and search. Crown chakra seven, overcoming things. Personality. So maybe yeah, you have the same kind of personality. Somebody loves your personality or you love theirs. They make you laugh, possibly. You know, I've met people like that in my time. Where The first time you meet them, they're just such a joy to be around. You know, they have such a quirky personality. They make you laugh. They make, they're just a, a breath of fresh air. So maybe this is what's happening with you. Ancestry. Wow, your ancestors are backing you up here, okay? Could also be family. A family, uh, a family member that really, you know, brings happiness to your heart. Take it for whatever it is, okay? Somebody's important. Uh, somebody important is watching you. Could be a new partnership that's coming in that's very important, or this relationship is very important to you or to them. Yes or no, we got that in the last read too. Somebody might come towards you and say, are you in or out in a relationship? Right? They want to know. This could be a past relationship you had that was always abusive. Okay, Punch and Judy. This, it makes me, that card makes me think of that. Some puppet master. The play acting. But you want to be free, sovereign. So you need to be free if you're going to come into a new relationship. Okay? Especially if you're a divine being. You, a divine being will not have, you know, anybody attached. You know what I mean? to them or get get into a relationship where somebody's attached to others it's not going to happen yeah they don't compete okay competition i don't compete you know what i mean um this person can make you feel like at home that they're i don't know they could be sharing a home with somebody or you are but uh this person makes you feel like home it's a past life soulmate okay ancestry maybe i don't know somebody misses you their your absence here you bring peace to them. They want peace. You could be a teacher of some sort. It could be, you know, a teacher in schools or a, a life coach. Or you just taught them a lot about the world, about life. You could be an academic or they are. Take you for whatever it is, okay? You both could be teachers for all I know. So we have Crenshaw, Chris Seven. And personality. Why am I feeling like there's an ex around and they want to take on somebody else's personality? Somebody that maybe, I don't know, maybe want, they want to, somebody that ain't shit. <laughs> they want to take on your personality. They want to be you. It could be an ex or an ex is current or ex, an ex is ex or I don't know, it's played out. They want to compete with you. That's what it is. You remained unbothered. Something about travel, reflecting. Going within, maybe you're traveling to some spiritual places, you know what I mean? Res not resorts, but um, retreats. Somebody got you into some sort of love affair, sex fix, secret lover. Somebody had a secret lover, and it, it was a lot of drama. It's all about money, giving money, always partying. Yeah, sounds like a beaut. Them or somebody they're attached to. Okay, these cards are stuck together. Always partying. Dust it off. It's over. Okay, these people are dusty. Love on the brain. Dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming, nostalgic, haunted. Memories, flashback, trauma, side effects. They're in their head about you. Somebody tried to force something on you or them. Forces things on you. Forces their way in. Uses force to get what they want. And they put you in a love triangle. Okay? Third party, multiple lovers, choices. Now they want you back. They have bad habits. Okay? Drugs, alcohol, toxicities, you remain unbothered. Somebody wants to come back in because somehow they know that you're coming into a, a spiritual union. And they know that they ain't shit or they acted like you weren't shit. You know what I mean? To the to their supply, to their other lovers. I think they're regretting what they've done. What else do you want me to use? Thank you. Yeah, they're definitely regretting what they've done. Okay, you don't want... You always do this. Sorry. So, Crown Chakra 7, personality ain't shit. I think if, they're, if somebody is trying to be you, trying to impersonate you, to, to hang on to your ex or somebody, they're overwhelmed here. The stress from this is draining me. 
So somebody's really stressing somebody out here. Hope, I haven't given up on us. And they want a reunion with you because there's a soul tie, a tie or they think there is. I always feel connected to you. Um, but they were dishonest, okay? By lying, I ripped us apart. And they have habits, bad habits. I don't know what we... I don't know if we will ever change. Uh, unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way I planned. Um, again, this could be a definite soul tie, but it could be a karmic soul tie. Okay? They want to reunite with you because they're overwhelmed where they are. Maybe they got trapped into a relationship with somebody and um, they don't want to be there. They're overwhelmed. Maybe the one that they wound up with. What was the last one? It was reunion. Yeah. The one they wound up with is really driving them nuts or driving them into the poorhouse or I don't know. They want you back though. It was easier with you. Maybe because you made them look good. Maybe you were, you're honest and you're dependable, reliable. They know you're going into a new relationship or they sense it. Okay. Like I said, they could be a karmic relationship. If it's a karmic, they're only meant to be in our lives for a very short time. Meaning that they, you had a past life together. So that was the, the attraction and, or the pull and or the, why you're repelled. Take it for whatever it is. But this was um, to learn a lesson that you, you didn't uh, integrate the last time around. Okay, So they're only here to help you elevate, teach you lessons. And you're supposed to part ways and go your own way. Elevate, move on, right? You're not meant to stay with a, a, a karmic soul tie indefinitely because the worse the, more, the longer you stay with them, the worse it's going to be. The harder it is, harder it is to separate from them. Okay, and you might be going at maybe you've been doing this lifetime after lifetime. Now it's time to to bring it to an end, right? Crown shocker seven. So the divine is trying to give you guidance here. Personality ain't shit and overwhelmed. You're, he's definitely trying to to guide you. Maybe you've already left this person. Maybe you haven't. I don't know. We'll see. What's the message here, please, Spirit? Well, obviously that you have because they want to reunite with you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> we have nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. You were their wish fulfillment. I'm also picking up. They thought they were God's gift. Okay. Either them or the ones they're dealing with. Take it for whatever it is. But you have wish fulfillment here. Um, someone was greedy and selfish possibly. Thinking only of themselves. Overarching energy we have. Come on. Tower in reverse. They're trying to avoid a tower. You can't do this. This could be ruin. Potential ruin. Or you averted a catastrophe. By leaving them. Yeah, Ace of Wands. By taking action. Somebody had some... some mm. This is passion and love. Okay? So you have new beginnings here. New passion opportunities. Growth expansion. Um, taking action here towards love. This is love. Self-love. New love. True love. They know. Okay? They know that you're coming into love. Okay? They could have chosen sex over love. Yeah, because they didn't want to... They did not want to uh, commit non-committal right they didn't believe in traditional values or relationships here or this could be a divorce or separation somebody's very jealous vindictive they were very um revengeful angry all the time somebody having somebody you had a family with take it for whatever it is or they have a family with now they thought uh whoever this was was their wish fulfillment so somebody's very vindictive right now. Maybe the one they wound up with, they, they could have married them. They, they don't have to have married them, but uh, there's a separation. Somebody's jealous. They're vindictive. Or this is them. Take it for whatever it is. Don't, don't pay attention to the genders because it's only energy anyway, okay? So if it, it's gender fluid type of thing. Place yourself where you, you fit and or them, okay? Whatever gender role. So somebody's going to be taking some action. They're very emotional here over a breakup or divorce. Somebody was jealous. Somebody was a BTC, B I T C H, you know what I'm saying? Somebody's angry. Yeah, they're not happy. They could be sick. A lot of lies. Something was kept in the dark here. Somebody's not happy. It's not a happily ever after. 
Knight of Wands in reverse. Somebody it, uh, tried to impersonate you. Like I said, this is a doppelganger maybe. Or maybe this is the old story where your past partner tried to turn a karmic into a divine being. Take it for whatever it is, okay? They could have picked somebody that looks like you, but certainly is not like you. The personality is not the same. They ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's a lot of lies, illusions, deception, manipulation here. It could be magic as well. Um, out of control, corrupt, two-faced. They're heading towards poverty, lack and loss. This could have been a big blow to their confidence as well. They're out in the cold. Definitely out in the cold. They're, they're not feeling any any warmth here wherever they are. No warm, fuzzy feelings. Okay. Somebody duped them or they're trying to dupe themselves by, you know, turning it, um, this person into you. Karmic or no. I mean, we've all been karmic at some time in our life. But what I'm saying is... Um, Maybe this other person doesn't know and now they're angry. I, I don't blame them. This wasn't love. It was just sex. It was just trying to turn somebody into somebody else. You know what I mean? They could have pit, pitted this new person against you. You know, always have your name in their mouth. This person's getting jealous of you. Um, you know what I mean? They can't seem to measure up with this ghost of their ex. Um, it's sad. Yeah, not happy here. End of a family or a group. They scapegoated somebody, possibly you or someone else. Ten of Swords, ten, ten completions here, okay? This is a betrayal. It's a, it's a harsh and pa painful ending for someone. The worst is over, though. That's the silver lining. Something's not going anywhere. Or someone doesn't want someone to go anywhere. Yeah, they can't, get, they can't approach you here, okay? You could be very balanced and a healer. They know they can't approach you unless they heal. They want to reconcile, but for some reason they know. Something's out of control. They can't control themselves. They know they betrayed you in the past. They scapegoated you. They did something here. Maybe they had a family or a marriage and you weren't aware of it. Take it for whatever it is. Ten of Cups in reverse. Ten of Swords in the upright chariot in reverse. Yeah, they're stuck, struggling. Uh, don't want to let go or someone doesn't want to let go of them. Somebody you made a lot of sacrifices for, or this person's going to have to sacrifice something. Um, this is just a waste of time. Time waster. Yeah. Losing long-term stability, long-term uh, relationships. So this is family discord. Losing a lot of money, possibly, because somebody was giving their cup of love to someone else, or maybe this is you. They were wasting your time, kept you stuck. Meanwhile, you know, after you left, they lost the long-term stability because they were giving the cup of love to other people and they were emotionally withdrawn and you walked away. You invested eight out of ten cups in a situation to find out there's nothing in those cups but backwash. Um, you went in search of your ninth and tenth cup, which is emotional fulfillment, right? Happiness, extreme happiness. They're facing the unknown. I, I'm thinking that you're not coming back. They're, I don't know. I think they're, whoever this is is putting on a knock like, I'm leaving now. Aren't you going to stop me? <laughs> Take it for whatever it is. Uh, emotionally withdrawn. Walking away. Not into it. They might know. If this is a higher level soulmate, because we got this yesterday, that chose a, um, a karmic over a divine being, they're now realizing they're stuck here. They sacrificed their own spiritual inheritance, okay? Because they were busy giving their cup of love out. They were emotionally unavailable to you, okay? Maybe they're finding this out. Oh, yeah. So we have, yeah, they're, they're missing you. There's a parting of ways of grieving and regretting here. Yeah, I could have been a contender. They were greedy and selfish. They were holding back from you. You're stable and secure. Maybe the one that they chose isn't, okay? I was going to say, I kind of feel sorry for the one they chose, right? They could have set that person up too. Five of Cups in the upright. Four of Pentacles in the upright. Yeah. They didn't fight for you. You're not fighting for them. They made up some, um, some false allegations about you. Yeah. 
that were unfounded. They're feeling defeated and overwhelmed it's because you are a wish fulfillment or you're coming into your wish fulfillment. You, ha you have divinity. You have divine protection here and guidance. All of your stars have aligned. You could be a healer. You're very inspirational. You could be out in the limelight here. You don't have to be, but you're very soothing to this person. Um, and they're missing you. Four of Cups. They're very dramatic, by the way, and or this is the other person they're dealing with. They're very, very dramatic, feeling rejected and abandoned here because for some reason they can't measure up to to you. OK. I'm picking up Pepe Le Pew. Um, if you're familiar with him, like the pant, oh, the hurt, oh, the <laughs> <Le> pain. <laughs> Very dramatic, feeling sorry for themselves, moping and, and pouting. Yeah, they should have invested in you, okay? There's proof and evidence here that somebody was hurting themselves, or by hurting you, they hurt themselves. Take it for whatever it is, okay? Or maybe somebody's threatening to hurt themselves because they don't want to part ways with this person, or they didn't want to part ways with you, and this is how, it, you know what I mean? Yeah, somebody's sick. They're scared. Justice. Maybe they're scared of the divine. They know. This is um, spiritual, right? They know what's coming for them because they chose a, a karmic over a divine being. It's a righting of the wrongs here. Seven of Cups, yeah. Running out of options here. It's all illusions. All that glitter is not gold. There's no more confusion. They should have dropped their side pieces and straightened up, right? Did that work and they didn't. They were playing games with you, mind games, gaslighting, right? They wanted you to, to compete and or fight for them and you're not willing to do that. You don't compete. End of, we saw that earlier, right? No competition. You, you, you let it go, you put it behind you, you took the high road and walked away with your head held high. Yeah, parted ways. They're karmic now. They could have been demoted to karmic, this higher level soulmate. And or now they're with karmics. I mean, obviously, yeah. Missed opportunity. There we go. There's lack of trust here. You're not investing in this person. They didn't invest in you. They don't want you moving on. They can't they can't move on from you. They can't escape something. They're in trouble. They are in trouble. This is embarrassing to them, okay? This could be exposed. People know what they've done to you now. Maybe they're trying to cover up the fact that, you know, they treated you horribly, a divine being. Yeah. They chose, they had multiple partners. We got that yesterday, you know. They loved multiple partners, third, third parties, five parties, 50 parties, remember? This is embarrassing. That This is public humiliation. Like, people might be thinking, you gave that up for this, you know? Like, why? Because a karmic, yeah, this is... <laughs> You healed your own heart. Um, they were talking trash about you, okay? They could have been very uh, mentally, emotionally, uh, psychologically abusive. And or the um, where they are, it's, that's what's going on. Yeah. They want to reconcile. This is the past. Past life soulmate. You could have children with this, this person. Don't have to, but where was I going with this? I can't remember. Sorry. It'll come back out. Six, 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 by the way, in the reverse. Six of Wands. This is embarrassing. They didn't want this coming out. But they're trying to turn uh, somebody into you. You know what I mean? Trying to compete with you. Trying to make you compete for them. This is somebody that's very in in insecure. Okay? If that's their love language, they can keep it. They've been demoted. Not a source, they abused you. Absolutely. This was reckless. Something's coming fast here. Fast communication, fast action, or travel. This was their destiny. They were a gold digger, cloud chaser, maybe. This is change. This is the divine stepping in here. Yeah, they chose a divine, a karmic over a divine being. Okay, they got you into a third party situation or multi party situation in breach of contract. All one sided. It was all for what they wanted. Okay, poor decisions, and now they're getting the consequences for it, and now they're scared. So they know, they know they, they fucked over their higher level soulmate. They were here for a reason, and they they gave into the dark, okay? Wow, they could be in same sex. I was going to say that earlier, same sex. 
they're embarrassed and disgraced here. Not that it's embarrassing and disgraceful, but if they're in a monogamous relationship or, and, and or I'm picking up somebody that could be monogamous or monogamous, um, misogynistic. Typically those type of men, I'm going to use that as men, um, have mommy issues. Okay. We all have mommy daddy issues in one way or another, but they have mommy issues. They exploit women. They treat them badly to make themselves feel better. They're not willing to go in and do that, that work. Okay. That healing. There's a lot of lies and illusions here, okay? They're in their emotions. You're highly intuitive. You knew what they were doing. Yep, not happy. They parted ways, right? They should have ended it with third parties. Stop the partying. Secret third parties. They were spreading gossip about you. Yeah, they bore false witness against you. There's no new beginnings here. They could be in debt. They took a huge gamble and they lost. It's bad financial news for them. Somebody got caught and they have to admit to something. Okay. They're not getting away with this. Maybe they said they were single when you first met them and they're not. But you're single, abundant, independent, self-sufficient, stable, and secure. And they want to come back. They don't want this to end. For some reason, they were stealing your energy, stealing money, defrauding you somehow. I don't know what they were doing, but they got caught and they have to come clean about a situation. It's a permanent, profound ending here. They don't want to change. That's what it is. They don't want to change. They can't overcome this. They're reckless, careless, and foolish. There's no new beginnings. Whew. Damn. Yeah. They're acting like a victim, though. I'm trying to block you. They're acting like a victim. You're you're ignoring them. There's no communication. This person's dead in the water. <laughs> I hate to say it. They're afraid to be vulnerable. They're afraid to get in touch with their emotions. Reckless, reckless, reckless. No new beginnings. You didn't want to change, so be it. Answer to God for what you've done. This person's here not to party, to sleep around. This person's here because they had a purpose. And they didn't They didn't fulfill that purpose, so I don't know what's going to happen to them. Oh, sideways again. How are we ending the week, please, Spirit? They want to... Yeah, they have addictions, obsessions. They went to extremes, inappropriate behavior. This is disaster. They're impatient. They want what they want when they want it. They're unstable. They're they're maybe sick here. No reconciling, no conf, um, conflict resolution. This is disaster. No peace, harmony, or contentment. They're very unstable. This wasn't fair. They were playing games. They can't play games anymore. Okay. Yeah, this could be law and order. This could be Archangel Michael stepping in. Some truth is coming in here. Ooh. They're acting like a victim. You don't see this coming. Something's happening quickly. King of Swords in the upright. You could be getting a lawyer. Maybe they're parting ways with the other person. Or you got a lawyer. You spoke your truth. This could be you. It could be them. I don't know. That's what I was going to say. They could be on the down low. And they're embarrassed to for people to find this out. I don't know why they're embarrassed in this day and age. You shouldn't be. But if you're in a monogamous relationship. And you're steering people down the wrong way. Um... You're possibly it could be affecting their health, their mental health, as well as their sexual health. Um, you're just lying, whoever this is. Not good. Yep, devil in reverse. Seeing through the illusions, you broke free, you distanced and detached from this person because they didn't care who they hurt, and or they're de detaching from this karmic that they wound up with. Something's over. So somebody's in their emotions and their feelings. They want you to feel sorry for them, okay? Because they, they manipulate people emotionally. Male or female, doesn't matter. It's over. You ended a cycle to begin a new one. Or they're seeing you online. Or this could be their, their partner they wound up with. And they're online watching you. Six of Pentacles. They defrauded you, maybe. This isn't fair. Or wasn't equally yoked. Or they breadcrumbed you, used and abused you. Treated you horribly could be having financial difficulties as well. So that's why they want to come back in. 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, they want to reconcile with you. Or in the past, they did this to you. Okay? You could have children here and they were refusing to pay for the children. Take it for whatever it is. But something's coming to an end. Could also be the, the person they wound up with that wants to be a divine being but isn't. is a karmic. Had the nerve to look down their nose at you. <laughs> 
Wow. Somebody's unstable right now. Son of Pentacles, proof and evidence. They want to invest in you now. They want to reconcile. They're going to pretend that somebody hurt them or you hurt them. I don't know. Somebody's screaming foul. You know what I mean? Crying wolf over something. They, they didn't invest in you. They underestimated you. They're finding something out or you found something out. Yeah, you're high priestess. You're highly intuitive. A lot of lies and secrets here. They judged you harshly after you left. Well, they're going to be judged harshly. This is, and, or this is the divine judging them, okay? This is karma for what they've done. There's no coming back from this. For once, they lost their twin. They could have stolen some property or a home or something or a mortgage. They were non-committal. The party is over. Page of Swords, they lied. They spread rumor, gossip, and slander. They were petty and they were cruel and they were abusive. They were jealous of you. They bit off more than they can chew, right? They didn't do the right things. They're having an emotional outburst. They're feeling rejected and abandoned. They didn't want you having a new beginning. They got a lot of burdens on their back. They placed a lot of burdens on your back because they were unfaithful. They didn't come correct. They didn't do the right thing. Eight of Swords, and you let them go. And now you're standing in your power, male or female, in all your glory. Okay, divinely protected. You're bold. You're, you're carefree. You're charismatic. You're confident. You're divinely protected and guided. You are a leader. You're not afraid of anything. And you've turned your back on them and your ships are coming in and you're expanding your horizons. You are an earth angel. Okay? And all they can do is be jealous of you. They're unstable right now. They're in a marriage maybe with this third party they chose over you. This is embarrassing and disgraceful. Okay? Two of Wands. So this third party got with them for stability. Or they got with this third party for stability. It's, they're unstable right now. Okay? Mismatched yet again. This is embarrassing and disgraceful here. Yeah. They blocked their, their own destiny. They blocked themselves off from happily ever after. They broke this contract this in the ethers. If it's some sort of fraud, well, yeah. It's over. Nine of Wands, you gotta let go. Give up, they're angry. That's just too bad. You know, they were too, I don't know, got entranced with the dark. You know what I mean? Free sex, drugs, alcohol, fluffing their ego up, don't want to do the work. You know what I'm saying, right? Crown chakra, you have direct connection with source. You have moved on. This is success for you. It's universally driven. It's, this person's going to have to radically accept the fact that they need to bring back balance to a situation. And because they didn't, they have to take the fall here. They didn't choose wisely. End of, right? Personality. They tried to turn a karmic into a divine being. Uh, maybe they look like you, but the personalities differ here. If your ancestors are on it, they're not too happy. And or their ancestors are on, on it as well. They're not too happy. I mean, they didn't do what was right. What was um, their purpose for being here. So if they didn't fulfill their purpose for being here, why are they still here? I don't know. Maybe that's something. Yeah, these, this person ain't shit here. Played out. Okay, you're not competing with anybody. They wanted you to compete. No. Nah. Stay in your own lane. That's what it's saying. They, they're they overwhelmed right now. The stress from this is draining me. So maybe their group or their buddies are all teasing them. You have this and you wound up with that. You know what I'm saying? And or they're overwhelmed because they're getting some karma. One thing after another. And they know why. Reunion. We will always come back to each other. Well, if it's a higher level soulmate, that's what they think. But not necessarily. It's up to God. Okay. How this is going to turn out. They didn't do the right thing. So let it be. Let's end with the goddess. Let's see where this is going. Goddesses, what's the final outcome to this read, please? How would you like to end this? Um, being a re I think you've moved on. I think that they're banned. They're barred from your energy from now on. Um, they'll forever be sitting there, possibly, you know, hearing from other people or seeing you online. It's selling at life. You know what I'm saying? Or you're going to be reuniting with a past life soulmate. Or they could be one. And or you're reuniting with your twin. Okay. I mean, even if it is your twin, they can get demoted. And the divine will, sh will choose somebody else for you. And no, they're not the other half of your soul. I need to make that clear. You, the divine has made us whole. They're, you're not half of their soul. Okay. So get that out of your head. You need to put up with their bullshit. Because they are the other half of your soul. That's bullshit. Okay. 
The divine doesn't want you oppressed, laughed at, cheated on, abused in any way. He wants you to love yourself enough to say no more. Okay? Doesn't matter who's doing it. Goddess says, how are we ending the read, please? That's the final, final cards here. Health. Their health is waning in Ghana. Okay? They know why. It's because of this. Dear woman. Yeah, they they were easily tempted by third parties. They have... This is an ego death. They have to, this came out last time. And I shuffled. This is... They didn't fulfill what they were destined to, to fulfill. So this is faded here. Okay? They're feeling guilty for what they've done to you. Are they trying to make you feel guilty? Yeah, it's a drama starter. Don't you feel bad for me? Look what's happening to me. They're trying to coerce somebody, you or someone else. But they can't seduce you any longer. Or you're not to be seduced, okay? You're protected. I'm also picking up that for very few of you, the one they wound up with was easily... They could get them to do stuff easily, okay? They, they didn't hold their feet to the fire type of thing. Um, they were so happy just to be in this relationship and, you know, having some sort of stability in their life or a man or a woman, you know what I'm saying? That they literally had threesomes, fivesomes, whatever, orgies, you know, they'd rather, you know, they, they kind of debased themselves. And I feel sorry for this person. I really do. Just for them to hold on to them. Um, you wouldn't do that because you have self-respect. And I, for those who've done it, I'm not putting you down. I'm just... This person was obviously out to exploit, okay, for their own reasons. So I feel sorry for this other person um, who felt like they had to do all, all this stuff just to hang on to this relationship. Because they, for some reason, this past person of yours was competing or trying to get this person to compete with you by always talking about you and comparing them. And like I said, they might look like you, but there's apples and oranges. Everybody's authentic, right? Be yourself. Don't fall for this trap. So they were playing one against you and or others. It could have been multiples here. And Ghana in reverse. Sorry. So get yourself checked out. Speak about what ails you for help is at hand from an un unexpected source. You're not alone in your troubles and others can offer great guidance. Exercise more, eat well, and drink plenty of water. Breathe. Walk in nature through woods, by the sea, or around a lake or, or reservoir. This could be for you. It could be for the one that they wound up with and or the ex. Take it for whatever it is, okay? Dear woman. Lead us not into temptation. To that dear woman would softly whisper, why not? And beckon you to her all the same. Sometimes the lesson must be fully experienced to be understood. You're being tempted to try something you would never, you would normally steer clear of. Perhaps an affair, a risky business venture, or even to indulge in activities that pose a health risk. So if they got an STD, they could be ill from that. Or drugs, alcohol, take it for whatever it is, or all the above, okay? There is an innocence in the way in which this is happening, but that simply masks how close you are to the edge of the woods from which this beautiful goddess calls. Only you can know if an only you can know if answering her is wise. If you decide to walk into the woods to give in to temptation, then be sure to take precautions. Let someone know what you're doing in advance. Be prepared to take responsibility when you can no longer see the forest for the trees, or you may have to find your own way out. And this is what's happened. They got they got tempted, sexually tempted, you know. Um, the third party got tempted, you know, it was, it was stability, a partner, take it for whatever it is. Or maybe they're going to try to reach out to you and try to tempt you back into meeting up with them. I can't tell you what to do. I can only hope, hopefully guide you. These cards are saying, no, you, you, you're to move on to, you know, to whatever awaits you. Don't go back. But again, it's up to you. Okay. Just be careful. Arachne in reverse. Face your fears of spiders. Are you coming from a place of ego or from the heart? Be careful not to brag. Don't try to so hard. You will receive the recognition you deserve. Be the real you. Again, be authentic. Weave your life constructively as spider indicates choices to be made. I realized in the last read I did, I have to apologize. I forgot to read one of the cards, but there's never any errors in tarot. Okay. So Fortuna, Fate. Uh, should you stay or should you go? Should you tell or not? Spend the money or save it? It's as if all of your decision-making skills are based on the on the toss of a coin at the moment. 
Taking risks has served you well in the past, but your run of good luck may desert you if you don't apply a bit of common sense. Gambling your life away, so to speak, might be fine if it's just you that, it, uh, that the outcome affects, but seldom is that the case. The choices you need to make in life right now will either put you on a firm and fruitful footing or lead you astray. Fortuna is Lady Luck personified. She straddles the fine line between the prosperous and the barren, with the Wheel of Fortune weighing heavily around her neck, for that is her job. It is not yours today, so consider... It is not yours today, so consider what you could win and lose in the upcoming choices you must make and leave nothing to chance. So, because of their cho their choices, obviously it affected, it affected their their fortune, their, their destiny, their fate. Um, they have no one to blame but themselves. Now, if they're trying to get you to come back, I can't tell you what to do, but think about it. You've got so much to lose compared to them, okay? They've already lost it. They made their choices. Now they're trying to get back into your energy, what, for protection, to try to make up for what they've lost. They don't want their karma. Think about it, okay? Long and hard if they try to come back in, okay? Angels, how are we ending this, please? Ten of Pentacles, spiritual inheritance, 3D, and or family, okay? Man of Dell, 36, finding out. This is an investigation. Going in, doing that work. They don't want to, right? They just want to take it. Or they tried to take this karmic and turn it into a divine being, thinking they would get the spiritual inheritance or some sort of monies, whether it's 3D or, or spiritual, I don't know. Finding out, finding out. Fucking around and finding out. <laughs> the Honorable God. Manadel, in or out of work helps one keep their job and protects against disasters. Oh, I'll do the work now. I'll do the work now. Yeah, okay. Four of Wands. This is a soulmate connection or a, a twin flame. They're married and or they're in a relationship. They're living together. Something to do with a house or property. Everybody's story is a little different. So take it for whatever it is. Or it's a twin flame. Like I said, the party, party, party. Five, higher powers involved. Mahasiya, God the Savior. Rectification helps one live in peace with everyone. Ace of Pentacles, missed opportunity. They were opportunist, okay? This is a blessing in disguise for you. Trust and believe that, okay? You have spiritual gifts. God's eye is on this person. Eight, they want, they, they, this person was so egoti egotistical and prideful and lustful. They, they should have acted with integrity and they did not, okay? The adored God, divine blessings, drives away evil spirits, rules agricultural production. So you're, you're going to be blessed, okay? Seven of Wands, you stood your ground. You're divinely protected, okay? Now they want to fight for you? 29 is 11. That's justice in tarot. Yeah, They try to block you, block your forward movement, take it for whatever it is. They want you to fight for them and compete for them. Nah. The expected God, liberation, deliverance from enemies, both visible and invisible. They wanted their options. Okay, they still have their options. This is justice. Angels going, time's up for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not dealing with you anymore. God, the just judge, Contemplation makes the truth known in legal proceedings, whether it's in spiritual court or 3D court. Take it for whatever it is. Or maybe they're divorcing this one. Take it for whatever it is. Or maybe you have to take them to court for children, divorce. I don't know. We have 777 here. Good luck. Contentment, prosperity, abundance, spiritual awakening, divine intervention. This message is most likely to reach you during intense uncertainty. You'll come out winning from everything that may come your way. It's also a sign that you have much life experience and wisdom to share. Yet you'll need enthusiasm and effort to get this message to others. Congratulations. 2323. Endless cycles. Well, I think this cycle's over. Charisma. Communication. Society. Movement. Journey. Repetitive. Circumstances. And patterns. I think you're stopping this, okay? I think you've mastered this cycle. You've ended it. You're moving on now. Congratulations. There's some truth you're resistant to accept over and over again until you're tired and, and restrained beyond depression. It takes a decision to live life for yourself. Life is all about passion. Then you make a change and the world around you follows. So this person didn't want to put the work in, okay? He was just thinking, he or she was just thinking with their loins. You know, other people were, you know patronizing them uh you're great you're sweet you're you know trying to get something out of them and that's what they chose zero four zero four slow down balance power struggle force violence Ugh. hope authority ancestors told your ancestors are on it 
You have authority here. Restlessness, low vibrations, and warning. Pay close attention to the people in your life, your surroundings, and your physical health. Don't freak out. It's just a warning to be careful and awake to avoid any further issues. Communic communicate clearly and keep healthy boundaries. So somebody's health is waning big time. Their energy levels is down or they want to come back into your energy to re-up. Okay, prosperity, harmony, journey, waiting, discipline, exaggeration, the opposite sex. They're not into the opposite sex. That's the one I'm picking up. They're into the, the same sex, but they're, they're lying to themselves. They're lying to the world. It's because they don't, for some reason, I don't know. It's their pride. Uh, they don't want to seem vulnerable, whatever. They, they want to exploit. Maybe they grew up watching their mother being exploited, for all I know, or being abused in whatever way. And they think that's what a man is. If it's a man, if it's a female, it's the other way around. You know, they, they watch their father be exploited by females used for money. You know what I mean? Females using their sex to get what they want. Take it for whatever it is. But it's coming to a close here, so congratulations. Again, this is another read where it really had nothing to do with you, but with them. The first read was the same, getting the background on it. And this is the same as well. It really has nothing to do with you, although um, you're haunting them. Your memory, your ghost, you're haunting them and their supply. I hope you like the read, and until next time, take care.